Welcome back to our channel where we explore the best mods for Skyrim. In this video, we'll be highlighting the freshest and best must-have mods you should download in March 2023. These mods will enhance your gaming experience, making it more immersive and exciting. Before watching the video, if you press subscribe and like once, it will help the channel grow. Then let's get started. The first is Paraphernalia Anti-Flicker. Skyrim's engine has some limitations when it comes to lighting, which can cause lights to flicker on and off as you move and look around in certain areas of the game. This can be particularly noticeable when there are a lot of lights in close proximity, such as in a city or dungeon. The Anti-Flicker mod aims to address this issue by disabling many of the vanilla light sources initially, allowing the engine's lighting limits more breathing space before maxing out and causing flickering lights. This helps to create a more stable and consistent lighting experience for players. In addition to addressing the flickering light issue, this mod also provides a slight FPS boost. By reducing the number of active light sources, the engine has less work to do and can allocate resources more efficiently, resulting in a smoother gameplay experience. It's worth noting that this mod is not intended for use on a vanilla-only setup. It's designed to be used with other lighting mods available on the Nexus to improve their performance and stability. To ensure that the mod works correctly, it's recommended to manually load it in your mod manager immediately after Skyrim. ESM and before any other applicable mods, such as the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. The mod should be loaded in slot 5 or 6, depending on your version of Skyrim. Overall, the Paraphernalia Anti-Flicker mod is a useful tool for anyone experiencing issues with flickering lights in Skyrim. By reducing the number of active light sources and giving the engine more room to work with, this mod can provide a more stable and enjoyable gameplay experience, particularly when used in conjunction with other lighting mods. The second is Morgan Follower. Morgan Follower is a mod that adds a new follower to Skyrim named Morgan, who is a sorceress skilled in destruction magic and alteration magic. She can join the player's adventure and help defeat enemies using her magical powers. The mod can be found at the Winking Skeever in Solitude, and is available in two versions, Universal Edition and Complete Edition. The Universal Edition is performance-friendly and uses the player's own female body mesh and female skin texture, supporting all kinds of female body types. The Complete Edition includes the skin texture and CBBE3BA body, recommended for those who want Morgan to look her best in her. Her body her is based on the Fantasy Beauty CBBE3BA body slide preset, and players can download the preset and build the outfit they want for her to match her naked body shape her. This mod ESP flagged as ESL, and can be manually loaded in the mod manager. In summary, the Morgan Follower mod is an excellent addition to Skyrim, offering a new follower with unique skills and customizable appearance options for a more personalized gameplay experience. The third is Motionless Rocks Killing People Fix. The Motionless Rocks Killing People Fix mod addresses a bug in Skyrim where motionless rocks can still cause damage to NPCs that bump into them, even after they have already fallen from rock traps. This bug is not present when the player character interacts with the rocks, as they only take damage when the rocks are actively falling or rolling on them. This mod fixes the issue by altering the velocities passed into the untap hit start event for NPCs. The mod ensures that only the vertical velocity is used in calculations for NPCs, which prevents them from being damaged by motionless rocks. The mod author notes that this bug may be a result of a difference in how the game engine calculates velocities for NPCs versus the player character. While the mod mostly resolves the issue of motionless rocks causing damage to NPCs, there may still be cases where this occurs. The mod author invites users to report any such occurrences with as much detail as possible, including a video and map of the battle. However, the mod does not address situations where NPCs run under falling or rolling rocks and take damage. Therefore, the Motionless Rocks Killing People Fix mod is a small but useful fix for a frustrating bug in Skyrim's gameplay. The fourth is the Inventory Interface Information Injector. 
Inventory Interface Information Injector is a mod that allows for the insertion of custom information and icons into the inventory and favorites menus of SkyUI without the need to edit the SWF files. This means that various mods can customize how their items are displayed in SkyUI while remaining compatible with each other. The mod includes improvements to the base SkyUI, such as correct categorization of items from the Dragonborn expansion and differentiation of books and notes based on 3D models. It also includes an icon add-on that restores cut Sky UI icons for items and adds new icons for vanilla and Creation Club items. Additionally, the icon add-on supports various mods and includes keywords that allow for easy assignment of icons to mods. Importantly, this mod's innocuous injection implementation intrinsically ignores independently installed interface improvements. The fifth is the New Horizons UI. The New Horizons UI mod is a complete user interface replacer for the Skyrim game, designed to bring a modern and colorful look to the game's UI. It is a spiritual successor to the original Horizons UI mod, but with a higher level of polish and a brand new style. The mod is built as a replacer for the Dear Diary Dark Mode mod by Urine Reactor, which provides a solid foundation of quality of life improvements and mod support for other mods. One of the key features of the New Horizons UI mod is its modular installation system. The mod comes with a FOMOD installer that allows users to choose which features they want to install, making it easy to customize the mod to their preferences. The mod also supports True HUD, a popular mod that allows players to toggle the HUD on and off at will, and retains all the customization benefits of the Dear Diary Dark Mode mod. The mod replaces various elements of the Skyrim UI, including the main menu, inventory menu, map, journal, and more. It also introduces new category icons based on the Horizon video games, which give the UI a fresh and unique look. The mod uses a splash of color to make the UI more visually appealing and modern, while still retaining the functionality and ease of use of the original UI. Take a look. Overall, the New Horizons UI mod is a great choice for Skyrim players who want to give their game's UI a fresh and modern look, without sacrificing the features and customization options of other popular UI mods. With its modular installation system, support for True HUD, and compatibility with Dear Diary Dark Mode, the New Horizons UI mod is a great addition to any Skyrim mod list. Sixth is Combat Pathing Revolution. Combat Pathing Revolution is a SKSE plugin that introduces modern action game Combat Pathing AI into Skyrim. The vanilla melee Combat Pathing AI was designed for the skating attack mechanism, which used a single generic AI data for all types of enemies in the game. This caused a lack of diversity in extending, making it impossible to match the modern action game moveset introduced by MCO or any other modern action game framework. CPR fills in this missing piece of the puzzle by introducing a dynamic and highly customizable AI pathing framework for melee combat. CPR allows modern action moveset designers to apply specialized pathing AI data for their moveset, making Skyrim NPCs move in combat like those in modern action games. CPR provides four types of AI moving behavior for customization, advance, backoff, circle, and fallback. These behaviors determine how AI performs when approaching, short-distance retreating, circling, or long-distance retreating from its combat target. CPR is an AI framework that teaches NPCs how to path in combat when using modern action game moveset. It works in conjunction with MCO, which is a behavior framework that brings modern action game animations into Skyrim, and SCAR, which is an AI framework that teaches NPCs how to utilize the attack animations from MCO or other modern combat frameworks. CPR offers mod authors and moveset designers the opportunity to customize the AI pathing framework, making it an essential tool for improving combat in Skyrim. 7th is Atlantean Landscape Dirt Cliffs Parallax. Atlantean Landscape Dirt Cliffs Parallax is a mod Skyrim that replaces the default Dirt Cliffs textures with new high-quality Parallax textures. It is available in both 2K and 4K options, providing users with the flexibility to choose the level of detail they prefer. 
The mod features unique textures that provide a more realistic and detailed appearance to the dirt cliffs, giving players a more immersive experience when exploring the game's vast open world. The parallax effect adds depth to the textures, making the dirt cliffs appear more three-dimensional and enhancing the overall visual quality of the game. The textures included in the mod were designed by the mod author to fit seamlessly with the game's existing landscape, ensuring that the new textures do not clash with the game's art style. The mod is also compatible with other texture and landscape mods, allowing users to further enhance their Skyrim experience by combining different mods together. Overall, Atlantean Landscape Dirt Cliffs is an excellent mod for players who are looking to enhance the visual quality of their Skyrim game. With its high-quality parallax textures and compatibility with other mods, it is a great addition to any modded Skyrim setup. And that concludes our list of must-have Skyrim mods for March 2023. We hope you found this video helpful in discovering some new mods that you can use to enhance your gameplay. Be sure to leave a comment and let us know which mod you are most excited to try out. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Skyrim mod content, and we'll see you in the next video.